Hey guys, welcome back to another art time last video. This time I'm going to be working on a little bit of an art trend that has come and passed. Um, in the past, there was a lot of hype around sort of the spirits that were in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And one of these spirits happened to be Shantae, a highly requested character and beloved indie uh, character that many people wanted in Smash. So when people saw, oh, so he's getting like uh, in the body of Samus, a lot of people ended up making fan art of Samus as Shantae in belly dancing. So I did that back in December, specifically December two, uh, 2018. And only now I'm just getting to it. Uh, go figure. Well, hope you enjoyed the rest of this. So something a little bit interesting about this picture in particular, I felt like I accidentally made the hand too small in my drawing of it. So I ended up sort of just redrawing it and just sort of doing that. And yeah, I ended up retracing the specifically the Smash Brothers Brawl version of the laser whip or pistol that Samus uses. Mainly just due to the fact of its simplicity and I didn't want to go into an extreme amount of detail for like the Super, Ma the Super Smash Brothers 4 and or Ultimate one. I just did not feel like that would actually be a good idea but later on I put so much detail into it that it ended up sort of making it look well Honestly, I put a lot of detail into it regardless. I guess the question now is, why? Why make the laser whip pistol? Why do this? It's because, um, from most of the fan art that I saw of this, I felt like no one really utilized the laser whip pistol. Like, no one decided, hey, how about I go and use this, like, thing to make, like, a spiral around her. Something, like, you know, to make her look more elegant, look, make her, like, stand out even more. I don't know, I just felt like that would be so much better just to see like around her. And I really like how I implemented it here. I just wish that like more people ended up doing this in the future.
to be as accurate as possible to the laser whip, honestly, I ended up downloading these electricity paintbrushes, mainly just to get more of that detail and make it look closer to the reference photo I'm using here, or in like other piece of materials that showcase it. And honestly, I'm still debating if I added too much detail or if it's just right. I did end up adding like a little like color, a little, no, a little glow to it when it's against the main body of it. And I think that looks great. It's just I'm still wondering if I add too much electricity just because it is a little hard for me to see it here. So there was this picture I ended up doing in my off time. It was a July 4th picture of my character Michaela just, you know, celebrating July 4th and, and an American's Independence Day. And when I was doing that, I ended up use, using a tutorial to try to help me out. That didn't work as well, but I ended up sort of experimenting with the different uh, filters with the layers and ended up coming up with something that I really, really liked. And I ended up implementing it here, the setting, mainly the hard light and soft light um, filters for the layers. And honestly, it, it really makes it pop. The best part about these kind of layers is the fact that it allows you to make different variants extremely easily without the slick. Going in and changing the hue and saturation all the time, and again, I just think it looks really damn good. Referencing that July 4th picture, I ended up using the different kind of brushes here in order to basically basically make sort of um, a different kind of texture, different pattern. And I decided to implement it here to get a much different kind of uh, pattern for the hair, different pattern for um, just just to give it a bit more texture, give it a bit more feel that like, oh yeah, this actually looks in tap could feel like hair just by looking at it and understanding it. I did go a little bit darker with it later, but lowering the opacity ended up making it look so much better in the end, and I'm really glad I did that. Hopefully I'll be able to use like this more and more as time goes on. And I also did this whole texture thing sit, uh, on the like laser whip itself. Also here, I ended up sort of doing a more cloudy or smoky glow around um, Samus, mainly just because it gives the impression like, oh, the spirit is infecting her. It's basically taking her over. And I still really like how this came out. It was a bit quirky in the beginning, just trying to get like the glow to match up with her. And honestly, I do like how it came out in the end. I'm still debating if I put too much detail into this to this day, honestly. Honestly, this looks fantastic. I really like how it gives off the sort of rough, almost, um, 
There's this rough, this like realist kind of metal kind of fight to it. But it also doesn't really match that well with the rest of Samus' body because of those shading being much more simplistic. It just makes it kind of stand out even more. But at the same time, I really like it. I really like just the look of it. Just like this grunginess and whatnot. And it's just, I don't know if it was really like the right move, but you know what, you know what? I still love it and I'm still gonna keep it. Also add a little bit of texture to like the colored parts of it just to give it like more of the same texture that you saw in the promotional material for uh, Samus in Smash Brothers. And because I really like this piece, I wanted to give this the old colored lines kind of feel. And I'm really happy with how this came out. And I'm hoping that, like, maybe if I do another fan art again, maybe it'll be, like, kind of something as good, or if not better than this. I, I do feel like I am improving bit by bit every day, but you can always improve a little bit, especially with a old uh, drawing such as this that you end up sort of digitizing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really proud of this piece and I'm glad that I've... This is kind of proof that I've made so much progress since, well, the earlier videos, the earlier time lapses that I've done in the past. And I am extremely, extremely grateful that, like, this came out so damn well. I hope a lot of other people like it as well. So... Again, thank you guys for watching. Um, follow me on DeviantArt Twitter. Um, even on Twitch, that would be even more helpful. And if you can, always like just a little donation or pledge on my Patreon will make so much of a difference. But with that, GG, and see you later.